Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. Hope all is well. I'm going to do your daily guidance reading in a moment. If you come across this video by chance, this could also be a message for you if you resonated. Doesn't matter when this video is released. And thank you so much Aquarius for subscribing to my channel. And please also click on the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I post a video. And thanks again Aquarius. I'm very grateful for your love and support. Okay, let's get to your reading. Um, I need to do two shuffles first. Sorry about the noise outside. It's like a bell ringing. Oops, sorry. Can you hear me better now? <laughs> I forgot to put the microphone on. Okay, luckily I realized it before I actually started reading. Okay, great. So, let's take a good look, Chris. Okay, it's very obvious. There is possibly a third party situation. Somebody could have found something out, some information through spying, investigating. And as you can see, there is a magician magician card over there. Okay, somebody wants to manifest something, but I feel like they are kind of stuck. They don't know how to do it. It's like I'm sensing like this overconfidence. Why is this person overconfident? This person is weird. I feel a sense of like like weird weirdness about this person. It's kind of weird. It's like this person is so confident like as if they could make things happen. But no, 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 no. They are not. See, the Nine of Cups in reverse is also a very smug, arrogant uh, vibe I'm getting here, you know, or somebody who is selfish and greedy. And also on top of that, there is the Six of six of Wands. So very confident, but almost overconfident. So, okay, this is the vibe I'm getting, okay, at the get-go. But there is a Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords, I always get the number wrong. Eight of Swords here, okay? Right underneath the Magician. Somebody is trying, you know what? <laughs> Try, someone is trying to paint this illusion that it's all in your head. That's what it is. They're going to make you seem like you are the crazy one. That's what I'm getting. Like they're going to make it look like you are the crazy one, okay? And that... You, you were the one who was selfish. You were the one who was thinking they were all that while they're suffering. This is what I'm getting, okay, Aquarius? So what do you call these people like that? Is it like, what are the terms nowadays? It's called like gaslighting or something? Am I right? I'm not even sure. I might have to Google that. That, that term, gaslighting, 
I think so. Yeah, so they're like, they, they gonna, they are like making this, painting this whole thing, like this illusion, like saying it's all in your head. I'm just sensing like it's all in your head. It's, it's, it's you, you know, it, it, nothing is going on here. You know, even if, even with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it was almost like whatever, whatever you thought you found out that I could have started something else somewhere, like a passionate relationship or, or the lover's card here. Like if I have, you know, had sex with someone else, it was all your, it's all in your head. It's all in your head. That's what I'm sensing too. And they act like they are, they are the one, the victim. They act like they are the victim. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wow. And then the Three of Cups here, of course, looks like a third party situation. But somebody here doesn't want to fight anymore, doesn't want to be a part of this. I feel like this could be the other person here, the Queen of Wands in reverse. The third party here could be, because usually the Queen of Wands, especially in reversal, she could be the other woman. But, um,. Yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Here's the king of wands. There's a, not a fire sign here. Even cups, cups, water. <laughs> yeah, very strongly. Could be a Gemini Virgo as well. Cups as in Cancer Scorpio. Or what's the other one? Pisces. So now they're making it look like it's all in your head, right? And they want you to believe it. They want you to believe that. They feel like you're being paranoid for no reason. It's all in your head. That's what I'm getting. But someone is like determined. They're like, no, I know what I saw. I, I, I know I got all the proof. I got all the evidence. But this other person's like, no, no, it's all in your head. They make it look like you're the crazy one and they're the victim and they're suffering from your craziness. That's what they think, okay? And then I feel like somebody knows that sort of, a, I wouldn't call it qualities, but that sort of a character. So with the magician, even in an upright position, they could also still be a trickster. So the magician has like, a lot of tools, right? They can make things happen. So they could either make good things happen or bad things happen. And also with the two of swords here, somebody may, I feel like somebody knows, but the, somebody is trying to make them not see. But the two of swords could also mean like a cut off, a communication, communication being cut off. Okay, that's the 10 of cups here though. Okay, if this person has a third party, I feel like it's over, okay? Um, and they really want to come back in because the Ten of Cups to them, um, it's more important. It's almost like you, if you, if you, it's the person who has been with, with this person for the longest time, right? Yeah, because the Ten of Cups, you know, you have to go through a lot, have to be with someone for quite a while to, you know, it's almost like also having a family, already have a family with this person maybe maybe not doesn't fly through everyone but like a real committed uh, relationship here for quite quite a bit and I feel like they're favoring favoring the favoring the ten of cups which is the original the original um, relationship here and they want some sort of a reunion I feel with the Three of Cups, but it could also signify third party situation. So that's like the, uh, so that's like the excuse, right? The excuse is like, like <laughs> that you're the crazy one. That's all in your head. That's called gaslighting, right? I think. Yeah, but somebody says no, King of Swords in reverse. Somebody is angry here, okay? Somebody doesn't want to compete. They're like, you can have, you can have her or you can have him. 
but I feel like they are being very restless here and they're trying to figure out there's still a lot of passion here I feel but they're trying to figure out they're very restless they don't know what to do you know they don't know how else to trick you with the magician here because they're sensing someone Aquarius there you are you're like no no BS here come on do you really think I'm stupid or what that's what I'm getting but Chris, you know better. If you've been with this person for so long with the Ten of Cups here, or you've, you've spent a lot of time with them, or even been could have been married, maybe, maybe not, or just, you should know. Sometimes we know. I mean, we just know, right? Yeah, someone is not holding back with their words. They're like, just keep it straightforward and honest. If I'm angry, I'm angry. And you're gonna see my anger. I feel like more like through words here because so it's like communication. I with the six of cups, yeah, they try to come back. Somebody from the past tries to come back. But I don't like the fact that they make it look like you. You're crazy. You're the crazy one. But actually, they were the one. You know, the deceptive one. Okay, Chris, is this your reading? I hope you resonated. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to reach me for a private reading, uh, my information is in the description box below. And uh, also, please don't forget to click on the notification bell button. And if nothing else, I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, Chris. Bye.